Welcome to a tutorial on how to embed your YouTube playlist. This tutorial is going to talk about three things. You're going to create your YouTube playlist, uh, embed the playlist into WordPress, and also in Google Sites. Make sure that you have a consumer YouTube account and also a WordPress or Google Site account as well. Let's take a look at making a playlist. Here you can see I've logged into YouTube and I found a video that I like. I come down here and I click add to button and it will give me new playlist. And I'm going to give this playlist a title so I can find it later. Um, so I'll just name it uh, Hotel uh, YouTube uh, Playlist Embed. So I've created it. Now I can describe the video that I'm adding to this playlist. So this video is uh, how to create a uh, Google drawing and embed that image into a Google site. So once you add the description, um, you just hit add note and you have started your playlist. Now let's go ahead and add a new video to this playlist. The playlist has been created so all we have to do is add to and this time select the playlist that we want to add this video to. Again give the video a description for those who are searching for it. Okay, this one is about using drawings uh, in the classroom. So you've added it, you add the note. Um, let's add a third video to our playlist. Uh, again, this is the same process. We're going to add to, select the playlist we wanted to add to it, and describe that video. So this is embedding URLs into uh, the Google Drawing. So we can have pictures. Now, embed process with WordPress. Uh, first, we're going to start off at YouTube. Uh, here, we're going to select uh, My Videos. You can see what I'm doing on the screen here. And then you're going to come in the left sidebar and select Playlists. Now, once you're in Playlists, you select Playlist that you would like to embed. Now once you select that playlist, you'll get a screen that looks like this, and you have a button that's called Share. Now you're going to hit Share, and you're going to come down uh, to the left, left bottom corner here and click Embed. You're going to copy the embed code, so it automatically highlights it for you. All right, and now let's go ahead and go over to a Coattail site, uh, a WordPress blog that I have. And we're going to put in um, the title of our, of our new post. And I'm just going to throw in some uh, text here to give us some perspective of where it's going to go. Once we type in our text below, uh, make sure we're in the HTML setting. We paste the iframe code in there. We hit OK. I'm going to make this private just to show you um, what it looks like. Uh, so I click on it, and now I can preview uh, my playlist that I've just embedded. Now you notice that nothing really appears different. However, if you press the video and hit play, you'll see uh, the screen changes a bit and you can have a skip button. You can also have this button here and this gives you an option of just scrolling through random videos in the list. Alright, so let's do the same thing that we just did uh, with Google Sites. We're going to embed it with a Google Site here. Uh, so you create a new page, whatever you decide to do on your own. Um, and we're going to go ahead and create this page and it'll automatically give us um, 
an edited version of the page. Now we go down here to more gadgets uh, and you click featured and this featured was embed gadget. We want to select that and here we can take that same code we copied we paste it into here. Now we want to make sure uh, you'll notice in the code it has width and height. Now you want to make sure that your uh, iframe fits this uh, within Google Sites. So uh, make sure that you've given uh, the correct dimensions and also go ahead and give it a title if you desire. Uh, now click Save and again this will show us uh, the same thing we saw before. You can click through it. Uh, if there's more you can click the arrows in the sides. Alright, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching and I hope you can embed a playlist on your own soon.